Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode we're going to Bass Pro Shop and we're going to see what kind of awesome deals they have this week. Now we're inside Bass Pro Shops, and for anybody who doesn't know any better, um, this place has everything. Whether you're going to be doing water sports, hunting, camping, fishing, this is kind of like the mecca. But for anybody who's never seen it, this is what this video is for. To show you all the different deals and just the sheer amount of gear that you can pick up and some items that you never even thought of. This is my favorite section. This is the knife section. They've got work sharps, knife maintenance tools on this side. We've got like Gerber, Leatherman, Schrade. On the other aisle, we got SOG if you want some of the higher and nicer stuff like Benchmade's Cold Steels, things like that, Case Knives is over here. So like I said, if you've never been here, whew, this place is literally a mecca for tools. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Here they have a healthy Leatherman section. I love Leatherman, I'm a Leatherman fool but they've got the Skeletech Tool KB. This is an awesome little folding knife. It's like 25 bucks. Those times you need to sell your stepchildren to go pay for your binoculars. Well, doesn't all this look a little fancy and familiar? We know we got this. We actually picked this up at Shields when we were in Utah. And then this is probably my most highly recommended little sharpening multi-tool on the planet. This is the X2 Pocket Pal by Smith's. Got a compass ferro rod. This thing is just amazing. You actually, actually saw this in my video on Monday with my fire kit build. I'm not gonna lie, this seems kind of like price gouging. 1977 for a three pack of 200 lumen flashlights. Granted, it comes with batteries, but I mean, this is the kind of stuff you see at Lowe's for like six dollars. Well, for only fifty-nine dollars, you can bury marauders from your campsite and hide them in the woods, and no one will find them. For all my hunters out there, this is the Gerber tool. Now, a lot of people don't like Gerber. However, a lot of people are saying that this particular skinning knife is amazing. I actually use the Outdoor Edge uh, Razor Cut Pro, and there's also the Havilon, who people who have Havilon guys. I'd definitely be in, actually be interested in checking this thing out and bringing this to the channel, and maybe doing some hunting. I know nothing about this brand. This is called Ridge Hunter. If anybody has any experience with this kind of, I'm assuming, box brand, let me know. I'd be interested in checking this stuff out. Me and Schrade are not friends, but I've actually heard good things about this from way back in the day. Well, ain't this just dandy? Cabela's has its own multi-tool. Cabela's is owned by Bass Pro Shop, if you guys don't know. For $5.99. The optics section. You want some good optics? This is the place to go look for it. Now, Vortex is actually one of the most popular brands that are out there. But uh, there's a new brand that I just got in called Athlon Optics. And I'll be actually excited to take these and put them up against Athlon and see which one's actually better. I retract my previous statement. Oh, there's a, it gets more, for 10 by 42s. Like, what are you trying to do? See your cellular structure? Uh, this section right here is my jam. For all you hunters out there, uh, my top recommended brand that they sell in a big box store would be Diamond. Because the same company as Botech. It's just made in Canada instead of the US. Now I know this is more survival shopping. However, um, these are Ramcat broadheads. For anybody who's interested in the archery, these are probably some of my best flying broadheads I've ever tested. We've actually have a broadhead video that's gonna go right up there. But then last but not least, if you gotta penetrate through bone, the fat heads. Yeah, I get to try the tent before I buy it. <laughs> is it comfy? Yeah, it's actually pretty comfy. I mean, really, why be a bushcrafter if you can own this freaking fire pit, man? Oh, that's awesome. If you've ever actually camped in the woods where they don't have a bathroom 37 meters away, you know what these are. These, but this is pretty cool. You get a large towel and some body wash, super contributed. Hmm. If this ain't the biggest, widest, and fattest machete for under 20 bucks I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, fire. I'm sure you guys just saw the video on Monday. If you haven't, you have to go out there and check that video because I have the best videos on the planet. But, hmm, that looks familiar, doesn't it? What's up, Exotech? I've always been a fan of 550 Fire Cord from Live Fire, but I mean, this is like $13 for 25 feet. And I get the exact same performance for $5 for 30 feet. So I mean, I don't know, man. Fire Cord, come down on your price. Honey Badger, don't give a shit. I know Streamlight's made in America, and I don't hate them. I just never brought them to the channel. Mostly because they have never responded to my email because it's kind of hard to afford 140 bucks here and 50 bucks there. and. 
170 dollars here but um if anybody's tried or owned or are lovers of streamlight let me know what you think now if you're going to be hiking and on the trail for a little bit but you don't want to take a whole bunch of stuff with you this is kind of neat survival essentials i mean these are must-haves all right for those of you out there who like camping stoves and have never heard of emberlet he's a bass pro shop just letting y'all know my boy mikhail's famous <laughs> no but this is by far my favorite stove on the planet because it packs really 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 small it's like literally a quarter inch thick but if you get the fire ant and titanium it weighs 2.7 freaking ounces man. i don't know about you but this seems like a survival essential i mean we do have a lot of hogs in texas i mean i i subscribe to big lighters but a five pack for like 250 so i was looking for some waterproof boots got a recommendation from a friend and i'm actually going to be trying these on Let's see what i think all right, so if you're here at Bass Pro Shop, um, you don't want cotton socks. Because if you're gonna have anything in a survival bag or anything like that, definitely gonna wanna go with merino wool. Now, if you're gonna live in snake country, get some of these. These are Ray Guards, 10 to $20 cheaper than uh, the Snake Gators, but they do the exact same thing and they have the exact same inserts. What are you doing? Uh, trying to sag myself a good catch. <laughs> so I'm actually in the fishing section, checking out some other stuff, but um, I actually found this by Outdoor Edge. Has anybody used this? This looks kind of convenient. Got ceramic and coarse and it's not very big and it's only $7.99. If anyone's ever tried these extendable reels, let me know what your favorite one is because I'm actually interested in trying to bring a smaller, more compact rig into a survival bag. I actually have a lot of buddies who are fishermen who are also preppers and they actually use these kind of as like a go bag, not like a full survival bag or bug out bag, but because of all the compartmentalization, they'll put kind of like a, like a small to medium sized fishing rig that they whenever they hop out of the truck and they wanna go fishing, they can, but they also have things like fire starting, first aid kits, and they have like a whole bunch of preps built inside a rig like this. All right, so we got some loot, time to check out. Honestly, I really wish the impulse aisles, places like Walmart were this nice. I mean, a life straw, survival whistles. Boom, we are back from our trip to Bass Pro Shop. And you can see, we did get quite a few things. Uh, we actually pick up those pair of boots. I tried those on from a recommendation from my buddy and they literally felt like I was wearing like some type of athletic shoe. They were mega, mega comfortable. But the fact that they are completely waterproof and they're gonna be much more rugged and durable on my secret adventure that I'm going on in November that I'm gonna keep teasing you guys about until we actually get to release that. But um, we also got the Merino wool socks. I practice what I preach. I actually stand behind my stuff. I'm definitely gonna be trying the Outdoor Edge Edge X. This will be a fun little way to kind of field sharpen and have something in my pack that isn't too big. Then I decided I'll give the Cabela's Multi-Tool Whirl six bucks. If it, if it ended up being crap, well, I only spent six bucks. And then we got the nice little Ascend Aluminum Pot Grabber. It's gonna be much better than the polymer one I had. But I got a surprise item for you. I wanted you guys to check this out. So for you guys who keep asking about Bob Hansler and the snake bite and all that stuff, well, I realize this is a piece of kit when I'm trekking out in Texas that I'm missing. For you guys who don't know what this is, this is a snake stick. It allows you to safely pick up a snake and relocate it um, at a distance and handle the snake a lot more effectively, obviously, than reaching down with gloves. There's a few other things you need, like, Better boots, you need some snake gaiters, gloves like that. I don't advise anybody handling a snake, but if you do decide you want to relocate one, I know a lot of guys who have these for their yards, their fields, their properties, and these definitely come in freaking clutch. But all in all, that is about it for the episode, and uh, out of the gear we got, let us know which one was your favorite and what you're most interested in is actually field testing, but out of the stuff that you saw in the video that we didn't pick up, what do you guys want to see us bring to the channel? We'll definitely take that under heavy advisement, so definitely drop your comments and suggestions down in the comment section. But that's just about it for now. And if you enjoyed the overview, the experience, and the shopping trip for EDC and Survival from Bass Pro Shop, give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that's just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out. <laughs>